Okay, getting my screen set up. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class, yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so that way I know everything's a-okay and then I can start. Sleepwalker, thank you. Lolly, thank you. Hello, Mary. Ella, thank you. Okay. Tomas, thank you. Miley, thank you. Mary, thank you. Tetsuro, thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm happy to see you all. Of course. Samuel is here. Tro Lee is here. Alice is in the house. All right. Thank you, Samuel. I really appreciate it. Mitra is here. Thank you, Mitra. Hello, hello. Okay. Ah, uh, there's Shams. Hello, Shams. Troublemaker is in the house. Okay. Uh, Kadari is here. Harry is here. Jubilee is here. Anisha is here. We have a great crowd. Amna is here. Uh, Dom um, Dominic is here. Normada is here. All right. Today we have a good group. Well, we always have a good group, but we got um, we got people in the chat. <laughs> Matsura, hello. Okay, Fonda, hello. Fantastic. Good to see everyone, of course. And um, hello, Bellamondo. Okay. Well. Um, we always have a toast for good luck, don't we? So let's have our toast for good luck. Whatever you're drinking, pick it up, and you know what I'm drinking. Fabricio is in the house. How are you doing, Fabricio? Umesh is here. Okay, so whatever you're drinking, you know I'm drinking hot, hot coffee. And um, I'm going to use coffee for the toast. Whatever you want to use for the toast is Fine. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have two toasts. Our first toast will be to the green team. Yes, you see them. <laughs> you see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers, green team. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink, so bottoms up. Mmm. Woo, it's hot, hot, hot. All right, our second toast is for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump. Cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah. Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, let's talk about today's lesson plan. Yes, here it is right here. We will be here for two hours. So I hope you're comfortable. I hope you're doing well. I am. <laughs> and about the chat, only subscribers can enter the chat. I do that to keep the chat free from bots and spamming. So by having only subscribers, we get rid of the bots and the spamming. So if you want to join us in the chat, please subscribe to my channel and um, you will get right into the chat. And one more time, I do that to keep the bots out and to keep the spamming out, all right? So if you want to chat with us, please subscribe and you can get in to the chat by subscribing. All right, now we're gonna be here for two hours and we're going to do five activities. We're going to do form a sentence. What's wrong? What's wrong? That's the, the, the sentence doesn't match the picture. The sentence does not match the picture. So you have to fix the sentence. Then we will, um, I will describe something about banking and then you guess what I am describing. Then after that, we will do dictation cards. Right here, I got dictation cards. And the topic, today's topic is take and get. Take and get. And we will um, 
dictation cards, you will listen and write what I say word for word, and then you will shadow, and then we will have a quiz. Yeah, lots of practice. And then we will do Lolly's Revenge, and Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue, and I will read a conversation. I will ask you questions about the conversation. We will read the conversation, and then we will shadow the conversation. So lots of practice for you guys. And like I said, we'll be for two hours. It sounds like a long time, but it's not. It goes by very quickly. And um, I hope you can join us for the two hours. That would be great. All right. So um, like I said, you know, two hours seems like a long time, but it goes by very quickly. We're always fighting against the time. So we should get right into it, shall we? Yeah, let's get right into it. Our first activity is form a sentence. So let me write the sentence, the, the pattern for you on the board. And then I want you to write a sentence based on the pattern. All right? Yeah, so here's number one, our first activity. Form a sentence. Okay, the ink is running low on this one, so I'm going to change pens. Okay, this one's got ink in it. Okay, so form a sentence, and here we go. This is our sentence. I'm going to do a, 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 um, that is a, oh, a, a, uh, not a, oh, hold on. I'll, I'll think of it in a minute here. Asterix. It's an asterix. And so here's our sub or our pattern subject plus get or gets depending on the subject, right? So I get, you get, they get, he gets, she gets, uh, it gets. All right. So depending on the subject, you're gonna use use either get or gets. Okay plus an adjective, plus easily. All right, so that is our pattern. And I will write an example here. So I'll just use um, I for the subject myself. So I need get, right? So if I get, and I need an adjective, I get, hmm, so for an example, I get happy easily. Okay, I get happy easily. <laughs> I get happy easily, okay? <laughs> that is my example sentence. I get happy easily. <laughs> How about you? What's your sentence? All right, so now... It's time to write your sentence. I want to see your sentence. Okay. Let's see. We have Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker says, he gets angry easily. Yes, that works fine. Umesh, he gets angry easily. Yes. Oh, I like it, Mitra. I like it. Pizza gets cold easily. That is true. But you know, I could eat. I can eat cold pizza, but I enjoy um, hot pizza for sure. That's a great sentence, Mitra. Pizza, right? Pizza is subject, right? So, so for example, it would be it equals pizza. So pizza gets cold easily. So fantastic, Mitra. I like it. I like it. Fonda, she gets sad easily. Good. Sleepwalker, I get hot easily. Okay. You won't like Japan right now, Sleepwalker. Japan, it's terribly hot here in Japan. It's terribly hot. Troublemaker says, I get sleepy easily. So um, Troublemaker, sleepy is the adjective. I get sleepy easily. Okay, Rama gets cold easily, says Umesh. 
Tetsuro, I get tired easily. Um, she gets rude easily with people. Um, she gets rude easily. Um, th that sounds kind of strange, Lolly. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. That, that, I, you know, grammatically, it's fine, but it sounds strange. Like, she gets rude easily. Like, like so, like, you, you're, 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 you change, right? So, um, like, like, you get angry easily. Someone, like, for example, in the, someone said, she gets angry easily. So, that means, like, she's fine, and then soon she'll get angry. And, and so, rude, people don't. People are rude. I wouldn't say people get rude easily. So um, try another sentence, Lolly. Okay. Let's see. Tetsuo. Uh, all right. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Audiobook says my tea doesn't get cold easily. Um, that, that sounds a little strange. Audio. So we want we want easily. So that means like it changes without effort. Like it happens. It, it happens quickly. It happens without effort. Um, she gets fat easily. That's what Tomas says. Shams, I get. Okay, happiness. It, it's a, happiness is not an adjective. Shams. So. Happy is the adjective. So I get happy easily. Alice says, I get fat easily. Yeah, so I think a lot of people get fat easily, right? <clears throat> if you eat pizza and chocolate and potato chips, <laughs> you'll get fat easily. And if you don't exercise. So if you don't exercise, if you eat pizza, if you eat, if you eat pizza often, if you eat chocolate often, if you eat potato chips often, and you don't exercise, then you will get fat easily for sure. <laughs> me too. So I always have to be, me too, I get fat easily. So I always have to be watching what I eat. And I have to, you know, I have to walk and I have to exercise. So um, anyways. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem, Lolly. Let's see, let's see another sentence, Lolly. Bob gets fat easily, says Tetsuro. Umesh, um, oh, the theater gets full easily. Yeah, okay, the theater gets full easily. Yeah, good, Umesh. So you want to say the theater. Fabricio, he gets jealous easily. Okay, good one. Matsura. Um, we get cheerful easily. Okay, Samuel, she gets cold easily. Amna, he gets quiet easily. Um, yeah, I don't like that one, Amna. She gets quiet easily. Um, yeah, I, I think, like, maybe she gets loud easily gets quiet let's how about she gets shy easily maybe that's better shy I don't know uh, wildlife we get sick easily oh no umesh says um, batteries get dry easily uh, sleepwalker they get lazy easily Mary uh, she gets tired easily that's good my sister gets me angry easily. Good one, audiobook. That's a good one. Shams, I get happy easily. Good. Miley, the weather gets rainy easily. That's good. Depending on where you live, maybe in Italy, that happened here in Japan, you know, that we get rain often here in Japan. Tetsuro Joe gets bored easily. That's a good one. Sleepwalker, he gets confused easily. That's good, Sleepwalker. That's like me. <laughs> I get confused easily. Yes, I do. He gets sad easily, Tomas. My skirt, my skin burns in the sun easily. Good, good, Tomas. My 
my skin gets burned easily. Mitra, the engine of the car gets hot easily. Lolly, the teacher doesn't get angry easily. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, teachers need to keep their cool. So teachers need to be patient, right? Because, um, you know, students, young students can be, you know, they're, they don't behave, right? So a lot of times students will talk in class. Students will not listen to the teacher in class. Students will um, not do their homework, right? Or students will, um, you know, make easy mistakes. And so it's easy for teachers to get angry, but we have to be patient. We have to be calm. And <laughs> we can't get angry easily. That Then if, we get ang if teachers get angry easily, then we kind of lose control of the class, right? So to keep the students in control, we need to be in control, right? So the teacher needs to be in control of the class. If the teacher gets angry, then the teacher loses control of the class. So when you're angry, you lose control, right? So you got to keep control. Tetsuro, he gets sad easily. Oh, I like this, Fabricio. We get along easily. I agree. Nice one, Fabricio. That is a great sentence and very true. I think everyone here in the chat, we all get along easily. We're all, we're all kind to each other. We respect each other. We are um, good people together. Yes, we are. We are good together. <laughs> yeah, burn. So, Tomas, my skin gets burned easily. Okay. Umesh, um, he gets... Okay, he concentrates easily. So, that doesn't really work. He gets... So, concentrate doesn't work, Umesh. For this easily, right? So easily means you, you change over, right? So you're happy, and if someone gets angry easily, they're happy, and then they change to, to angry, right? So um, it's kind of like, you know, a switch. Or not a switch, not... A switch is on and off, but like, like a, a, a knob, you know, like a dimmer switch. If you have a dimmer on your light, like you can, you can turn the knob and your light will get brighter and dimmer, brighter and dimmer. And so it just, it's, it's gradual. As you turn the, the knob, you know, it, your light will get brighter and you turn the knob the other way and your light will get dimmer. And so that's how this works in a way, you know. So, okay, you're happy and then turning the knob and now you're getting angry, you know, and so easily. So easy to turn, you know, easy to change your mood, right? Easy to change your mood. Okay. For example, mood, but then like, um, like Tomas said, my skin um, burns easily, right? And so without effort. So it could be, you know, you can change your mood or... You know, something, you know, like your skin burns without difficulty, right? So if you're in the sun for a little bit, oh no, I'm red. My skin is red from being out in the sun for just a few minutes. Oh no, my skin is already burned. Oh, Tetsuro, Sue gets thin easily. So some people like their metabolism, right? Um, some people can... can um, lose weight easily, right? So maybe um, if they stop eating chocolate, soon they, they lose weight, right? Or um, they start exercising and soon they, they lose weight. Soon they become thin. Um, Harry, what do you usually do who students don't want to listen to you in class? Yes, that's always a challenge. Um, so what... I do, I just tell them, you know, that, hey, shh, be, be, don't, I'm talking, shh. 
And, and at university age, um, there'll be, the students will be talking to each other. And then I, some, I have to say, shh, quiet. <laughs> I, I'm talking now, quiet. And, or I'll just, I'll hit the desk like this. I'll go like that. And then students, oh, right. And then it's not much of a problem. But the younger the students, then it's more of a problem. And then there's like certain strategies you have to do to keep the students from talking and to keep them, you know, um, to, you know, keep them in, you know, keep them on task, right? And so at the university, it's just maybe like a tap like that. And then they'll, they'll stop talking and listen. So it's not much of a problem at the university, but, you know, the younger the students are, you know, the more um, a challenge it is to keep them from talking or, you know, listening, keep them on task. Okay, good, good, good. Mary says, um, my skin gets burned on the sun, under the sun, which is correct. Okay, Mary said, so, okay, my skin gets um, burned under the skin, or <laughs> under the sun, under the sun. Yeah. So, or you can say, um, in the sun, not on the sun, but you can say, um, my skin gets burned under the sun or my skin gets burned in the sun. Probably better to say in the sun, actually. Mary, uh, my, my skin gets burned in the sun. Okay. He, get, he gets about easily despite, he get, okay, I'm Fabrizio, he gets about easily. I'm not sure what, what do you mean, gets about? So please um, be more specific. Marwa, Mark, one of my dreams, I want to meet you personally. Yeah, Marwa, that would be great. Thank you, Marwa, I appreciate that. Very kind. Okay. Oh, Miley says, you must say, you all failed, come back next year. No, Miley, we can't do that. <laughs> Some students, I want to say that, uh, or never come back. <laughs> but, nah, can't. Actually, all, actually, you know, I'd say 99% of my students are fine. No problems. So, the last, the last few years, I've had hardly any problems with students. It's been... I've been lucky. I've had good classes, so um, I feel fortunate. I feel um, lucky to have good students. It makes my job much easier, right? So um, when, when the students are there because they want to be and they, they listen and they do what you want them to do, then it's a good class and it works. It's smooth, right? It's, the, the, the class goes smoothly. Fabrizio, we should not lose weight because we can find after that you should eliminate ex exterminate weight okay i don't know i don't understand fabricio okay gets about to be able to go to different places oh okay get around fabricio get around um not get about it's better to say get around like um for example, Fabrizio, um, in Japan, it's e well, it's easy to get around Japan. It's easy to get around Japan because we have great transportation systems. We have a great train system. We have a good um, bus system. So Japan has a really good public transportation system. So it's very easy to get around in Japan. Yeah, so get get around, Fabricio. Okay, get about. Yeah, I, I yeah, get around. I think we want to say get around. Ah, uh, Sleepwalker, very kind of you to say. Y yeah, but Miley, I think you know. Um, Miley said, "Oh, because they're Japanese students." But you know, I think kids are kids. You know, young people are young people. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't think it's because they're Japanese. 
I, I mean, I mean, sure, you know, like in Japan, it's a, you know, it's a different culture in Japan, of course. And, um, you know, so of course we have good students who, who um, appreciate school, who enjoy school, who know the value of school. But like any kids, you know, they have energy and they like to see their friends. Um, you know, they, they like talking to each other. So I think, you know, kids are kids. Kids want to talk to each other. Kids want to play around. So that, that's, I think that's universal with, with children. Okay, I think we need to change topics. Um, oh, that's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's, um, we're going to look at this on Friday again. So we will review this again on Friday. Okay. So, but for now, let's go to our next topic. Okay. Activity number two. Here we go. Our next topic. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? All right. And so here, this is where the picture and sentence doesn't match. So that by looking at the picture and then reading the sentence, uh, there's something strange. So you look at the picture, you read the sentence, and there's something strange. So I want you <clears throat> to fix it, yeah? And so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the, here it is right here. I have it here. And I'm going to put it on the screen. So you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to post it on the, on, on, you know, on the, <laughs> on my video. Okay, so you will see it. And I'm going to give you maybe a minute to, to look it over, to look at the pictures, to read the sentences. Then I'm going to take it off the screen, and then I will read a sentence, and I want you to remember that sentence like, and, and remember the picture, and then fix the sentence, okay? <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to show you the the pictures and sentences on the screen. There it is, there they are. So I'm gonna give you about a minute to look it over. These are new. These are new. Okay, make it a little smaller so you can see the pictures, easy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read them, I guess. That's probably the best way to do it. Okay, so we have cherries right there. And let me read it. <clears throat> Cherries usually have in two. Cherries usually have in two. Eggs never to cook. Or eggs are, sorry, eggs are never to cook. Eggs are never to cook. <clears throat> Let's allow the path. Let's allow the path. That's a pink chick. That's a pink chick. It's cloudy yesterday. It's cloudy yesterday. I buy a bag of flour. I buy a bag of flour. Are them coconuts? Are them coconuts? Can you like chopsticks? Can you like chopsticks? I never eaten a chili pepper. I never eaten a chili pepper. What's your dogs like? What's your dogs like? Ants say hello to our picnic. Ants say hello to our picnic. Do it want your bread buttered? Do it want your bread buttered? So we have lots of strange sentences. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, Pesai, excuse me teacher, where are you, where you live was raining? 
Um, today we have, we, it, we got lots of rain. We had rain uh, a couple of days ago, a lot of rain, but today, no rain today. No rain today. Very hot though here in Japan, very hot in Japan, but no rain. Okay, I'm going to take off the, the sentences and pictures, okay? And so now they're gone. All right, so now I'm going to do, I'm going to read one of them. And I want you in the chat to fix the sentence, okay? So here we go. Number one, let's allow the path. Let's allow the path. Please fix the sentence. Please allow the path. What's wrong? Fix the sentence. Let's allow the path. Oh, nice one, Harry. Yeah, Harry, good. Okay, yeah, sleepwalker, good. Uh, no, Lolly. Clean is in the wrong um, place. Okay, Lolly. So you all the all your words are correct. You just need to change the order. Okay, Lolly. So clean is in the wrong position. So change the position of clean, and you will have a good sentence. Okay, Tetsuro on. Tetsuro on. Okay, that works, yeah. Okay, I'll start. Okay, Lolly, let's please fix it. <clears throat> um, okay, find. Okay, Mitra, found. We, we just need the, the present tense. Find. Okay, Fabrizio, let's go through the path. Through the path. Let's go through the path. Okay, that's okay. You can say that. Samuel, let's continue. Okay, on the path. Samuel, let's continue on the path. Yes, Deepa, good. Best gamer, how are you? Sleepwalker, let's explore a new path. Good. Mary, let's walk on the path. Let's walk on the path. Okay. Uh, Deepa, let's go through this path. Okay, that's work. That works. Yes. Let's go this way. <laughs> okay, how about Lolly? Let's go this way on the path. Let's go this way on the path. Let's go through the path. Through the path. I, I, I don't like through. I, I think it's better to say, let's go on the path. It's better to say, let's go on the path. Let's follow the path. Good, Umesh. Sleepwalker, let's find a new path. Good, I like it. Fabricio, let's check the path. Yes, good, Fabricio. Deepa, uh, let's see where this path leads to. Good, Deepa. Uh, Miley, let's take this path. Good. Okay, Shams, let's clean the path. Yes. Wildlife, let's wash. Okay, let's wash the path. So you're going to wash it. Dang. Let's use the path. Good, good. Yeah, dang. Let's go to this. Okay, best gamer, let's go on this path. Let's go on this path. Mary, let's walk on the path. Yes. Samuel, let's move on the path. Okay. Harry, let's build the path. <laughs> okay. How about... um. Harry, let's build a new path. Let's build a new path. I think that's better. Alice, let's go away. Or how about, okay, let's use another path. Alice, let's use another path. Best gamer, let's see the path, okay? Tetsuo, let's run on the path. Good, Tetsuo. Sleepwalker, let's take this path. Yes. Oh, okay, on... Um, Dominic, let's fix the path. Good. Umesh, let's trace the path. Let's trace the path. 
trace the path. Okay. Uh, dang, let's change the path. Fabrizio, it's dark here. Let's avoid this path. It's dangerous. Yeah, good, Fabrizio. Deepa, let's see if this path is a shortcut. Good, Deepa, I like it. Good one. Lots of, everybody, lots of good examples right here. Lots of, so lots of ways to say, to talk about a path, right? You guys are using lots of examples of how to use path in a sentence. Very good, everybody. And we could learn a lot from each other. We can learn a lot from each other. This is a great chat. You guys are doing fantastic. Kori, hello, Kori. Um, Sleepwalker, let's get over this path. Good. Let's paint, let's paint the new path. <laughs> Uh, or how about, let's paint a new path. Let's paint a new path. Best gamer, let's play football on the path, okay? So let's creep on the path, creep. Creep along the path. How about creep along the path? Tetsuro, creep along the path. That works, I think that's better. Let's creep along the path. Umesh, let's walk on the path. Let's walk on the path. Yes, let's use another path. Okay, Alice, let's use another path. So the, no, there's no the. <clears throat> let's use another path. Okay, Alice, let's walk on the path. Mitra, let's walk on the path. Dominic, let's have a picnic on the path. That, nice, nice. You guys are using your imagination. Very good. Lots of, lots of different examples. Fantastic, everyone. Sleepwalker, let's test ourselves and walk this path. Wow. You guys are being really creative here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love seeing these sentences. Let's avoid the path. <laughs> Miley, let's leave the path. Or let's leave this path. Good. Let's leave this path. Let's explore our path. Okay, good, Hanan. Uh, Hanan. Uh, Deepa, let's avoid this path as I see no one here. Shams, let's see the path clean. Fabrizio, let's draw our path. Good. So here, I think you guys are using path as a metaphor. So um, a metaphor means the word means something else, right? So, for example, Fabrizio says, let's draw our path. So I'm, I'm thinking that that could be a metaphor for life, right? So let's, let's make our future. Let's draw our own future. Let, let's, let's, you know, make our future real, you know? So, so let's draw a, a path. And so, what did... What, what, Fabricio said, one more time, let me, I have to look down here. So um, Fabricio said, uh, let's draw our path. Yeah, so let's draw our future, right? So let's make our future come true. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, Fabricio is thinking, you know, and so using path as a metaphor for life, you know, so we, we can, you know, take different paths and, you know, some people take, you know, the wrong path. You know, if they take the wrong path, then they might get in trouble. They might, you know, have a, a bad life. But if you take the right path, you know, you'll find a good job. You'll have a good life. And so, and so life, our life is like on a path, right? Our life, we're on a path of life. <laughs> we, we, we go along life and we have choices, right? Oh, should we take this path or that path? You know, and, and one path can be, you know, to success and the other path could be to, you know, um, um, what's the opposite of success. Um, the other path could lead to, you know, um, unsuccessful life, an unsuccessful life, a, 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 a bad life. And so um, let's take... 
Let's take the right path. <laughs> Let's take the good path. <laughs> All right, everybody. Nice, nice. Okay, let's do another one. Are you ready? I liked it. I liked it. Lots of great examples you did. Okay, here we go. We're doing another one. Bonjour. <laughs> Viva Flowers. Hello. <clears throat> okay. Fabricio, we must not choose the easier path. Yeah, okay, there we go. So um, Fabrizio says, we must not choose the easier path. So the easy path will not lead us to success, right? The, the easy path will just lead to, you know, easier, or, or I should say, you know, maybe, you know, success is not easy, right? To be successful takes hard work, and so um, take the path that's more difficult, right? And if, like, let's say you want to lose weight. We talked about, um, you know, some people get, you know, fat easily, and um, so if we take the more difficult path, you know, it, it's, more, it's more of a challenge, but we'll feel better. And like if, if you want to lose weight, you have to work hard, you have to, um, you know, it, it's not easy. But if you do it, right, you take the difficult path, you know, you will succeed. You will, you know, feel better. You will have a better life, you know, because of the challenges and because, you know, the difficulty in having the challenges and the difficulty, it's going <laughs> to, it's going to make you a better person. Yeah. So let's, let's take the difficult path. Let's do our best. Let's succeed. Let's, let's um, have a good life, everyone. Let's, let's be happy. Let's be successful. And let's, you know, let's challenge. Let's take the challenge. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Mary, let's take the right path for sure. Viva Flowers, nice to meet you too. Okay, here we go. Number two, everyone. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, here we go. The, our next sentence. Can you like chopsticks? Can you like chopsticks? Can you like chopsticks? Corey, thank you very much. <laughs> Viva flowers. Good. Okay, here we go. Please fix the sentence. Please fix the sentence. Can you like chopsticks? Please fix that sentence. And of course, Sleepwalker is very fast. Sleepwalker is there. She said, can you use chopsticks? Very good. Uh, Tetsuro, can you use chopsticks? Lolly, use chopsticks. Deepa, do you like chopsticks? Okay, that's, that works. Can you use chopsticks? Yep. Do you like chopsticks? Ah, Deepa, do you know how to use chopsticks? Can you hand me the chopsticks? Okay, good, Tetsuro. We want the. Can you hand me the chopsticks? Okay, Sleepwalker, can you take the chopsticks? So we want the chopsticks for that situation. Can you take the chopsticks? Here, can you take the chopsticks? Can you bring the chopsticks? Good, best gamer. Can you bring the chopsticks? The. Can you loan me chopsticks? Can you loan me some chopsticks? Okay, loan me that. Okay, Tetsuro, I don't like loan for chopsticks. Can can you um, let me use chopsticks or the chopsticks? Can you let me use, or how about some? Can you let me use some chopsticks? Can you let me use some chopsticks? Or can I borrow some chopsticks? Can I borrow some chopsticks? Can you throw away the chopsticks? Okay, can you throw away the chopsticks? 
Tetsuro, can you hand me the chopsticks? Perfect. Okay, best gamer, do you know do you know how to eat by using chopsticks? Okay, so not the okay, so here we okay, so I think we have some confusion with the, okay? And when to use the and when not to use the. Okay, so the So we use the when when both people understand um, the subject. Okay, so so for example, um, so the when when um, both people okay, so when both people um, know the subject, I guess. Okay, so for example, can can you pass me the chopsticks? So, um, can you pass me the chopsticks? Ugh. Ugh. Can you pass me the chopsticks? Okay, so so. Uh, in this situation, maybe we're sitting at the table and the chopsticks are over there, right? They're next to you. And so you can see the chopsticks. I can see the chopsticks. So I ask you, oh, can you pass me the chopsticks? You go, oh, sure, here you are, right? Oh, thank you. So we, we both can see the chopsticks. We both know, you know, the subject. We both know what we're talking about, all right? So can you pass me the chopsticks? Now, I'm, I'm, let me look at another sentence where we don't use the, okay? So, can I borrow, okay, your chopsticks, we, that works, but, um, okay, um, can you share some, okay, okay, some chopsticks, okay, so can I use um, some chopsticks, okay? So, let, let's say, so there we don't need the, okay? So, here's our other example. Can I use some chopsticks? Okay, in this situation, I can't see the chopsticks, right? So I'm maybe I'm at your house and we're in the we're in the dining room and your chopsticks are in the kitchen. I can't see them, all right? And some meaning more than one, right? So chopsticks, we need two. And so, like for example, would you like some cookies? Would you like some? So you're offering, or so can I use some chopsticks? So uh, it, it's an estimation, right? You're you're not, you know, if I can see the chopsticks, can I use the chopsticks, right? I can see them, and um, here, can I use some chopsticks? So. There, it's non-specific, right? And so, any chopsticks are fine. Any chopsticks are fine. And so, I'm gonna. I'm at your house, and I'm just gonna ask for some chopsticks. Can I use some chopsticks? I need to use some chopsticks. So, any any chopstick, any chopsticks are fine. So, I can't see non-specific. Any chopsticks are fine. Any chopsticks are fine. Okay. So, the is when both people know exactly what the subject is, what you're talking about. Um, with, and then if you can't see it and it's anyone is okay, no the okay don't use the so any any chopsticks are fine any one is fine okay any one of them is fine so there's no the okay i can okay good viva says i can eat my rice with the chopsticks okay 
Can you sell? Okay, can you sell the chopsticks? <laughs> okay. Dominic. Uh, what can I do with chopsticks? Good, Dominic. I like it. What can I do with chopsticks? You can eat food with chopsticks. Can you make bamboo chopsticks? Okay, good, Fabricio. Ah, Lolly says, Mark, can you teach me how to use chopsticks? Yes, I can. I think I've done this before. Let me give everyone a little lesson. Let me get another pencil here. We'll have a little chopstick lesson here so if you have two pencils so i'm using pencils for chopsticks and here we go i got one pencil and i'm going to put that right here so here's the so this is one this is going to touch the food okay and here's my thumb here's my forefinger or pointing finger and so the first chopsticks just going to rest it's not going to move and then I'm going to put the second chopstick on top. And then I'm going to use my thumb and my forefinger to hold this. And then I'm going to just move it down. So the bottom chopstick doesn't move. Only the top one moves. Okay, and so I just go like this. And it's real easy and I just pick up boop, and eat it. Very easy. Chopsticks are great to eat with salad, you know, so I like using chopsticks. Most of the time I use chopsticks. Here's my eyeglass case and I can just pick it up like that. That's easy, yeah. Um, so anyways, so chopsticks can be very easy to use, very convenient to use. Can I recycle chopsticks? If you buy, if you buy um, good chopsticks, yes, you just keep using them again and again. My chopsticks are, I have, my chopsticks I've been using for about 10 years. So I've been using the same chopsticks for a long, 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 long time. So there we go. Oh, like a mountain, it never moves. Yes, Tetsuro. So the bottom chopstick never moves. This one does not move, only the top one. Yes, Mary, good idea. Let's practice with sushi. Yeah, pick it up and eat it. Yeah. Okay, that is the chopstick lesson. Okay, Lolly, you got it. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, I'm looking at the clock. Wow, it's all right. We got to change. We got to change topic. So let's um, look at the picture. Let's see. Let's look at the picture here. Okay, and next week we'll continue next week, but... What we did today, this is what we did today. So let's allow the path. No, that's strange. So lots of people said, let's follow the path. Lots of people said, let's take the path. Lots of met, we use lots of sentences with path. That was great, everyone. Everyone did great. There's the path. And then we used, um, and then the second one was, can you like chopsticks? No, that's strange. That's a strange sentence. Can you use chopsticks? Can you pass me the chopsticks? Okay, so um, that's what we did today and we will do the rest in the next few weeks. Yeah, so next week we'll do another one or two. Uh, Ella, how long did it take you to learn using chopsticks? Not long, not very long. I, I, I used chopsticks before I came to Japan. So when I, um, in America, California, when I went to a Japanese restaurant, I used chopsticks. And um, a long, long time ago, when I was a kid, my next door neighbor was, the family was Japanese. So I lived next door when I was a kid to a Japanese family. And, and actually, they taught me. They showed me how to do this. And so um, I was able, yeah, you just have to practice. You know, you can do it. Just, just go like that. You can practice. Yeah, you just have to get like, you have to like the pressure, right? So the trick is, you know, you have to feel the pressure. So in your, you know, your thumb and forefinger, you have to give it the right pressure. Yeah, too much pressure and 
you can't do it, and, and not enough pressure, you can't do it. So you have to practice how much pressure to, to do. Yeah, so it's fun. So you sh everyone should learn to use chopsticks. I, I recommend you all to, to um, learn how to use chopsticks. Okay, let's go to our next activity, shall we? So number three, describe and guess. Describe and guess. So here we go, number three, activity number three. Describe and guess. And the topic is banking. Okay, that's our topic, banking. So I'm going to describe some things that relate to banking. And I want you to guess what I am describing. Here we go. So we got some things that relate to banking. And I'm going to describe one or two of these and you guess what I'm describing. But first I will show you the, the, the handout. I will show you this page for just a short time, 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna take it off the screen. So I will show you the, the items, the, the banking things for 10 seconds, and then I will take it off, and then I will describe them to you. And you guess what I am describing. Okay, there it is. Okay, 10 seconds, everybody. 10 seconds, only 10 seconds. Okay. Make it a little bigger. Okay, that's good. Okay, here we go. We're going to count down. Here we go. 10, what? okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, that's 10 seconds, and now it is going bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, banking. Okay, good, 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 all right. Now, now I'm going to describe a few of these things. What am I describing? What am I describing? Here we go. The first one is, um, some people will, um, let me think, how, um, it's not, it's not a credit card. Usually we keep it in our wallet. Uh, it might be in your pocket. It's, it's the easiest way to buy something, right? And so if you use a credit card, right, you have to um, sign, but um, you have to sign your name on the ticket, right, on the bill if you use a credit card. But this, you just give it to them and it's done, right? If you, if you go to a store and let's say you wanna buy something and it costs $10, you can just take it out of your pocket and give it to them and it's finished, you got it. But um, with a credit card, they have to swipe it, you have to enter a, a secret number. But with this, you don't need to do anything, you just give it to them <laughs> and, um, and then if, if it's more than the amount, let's say you, you buy something for $5, but you give them a $10 bill, and then you get the change back. If you use a credit card, it's the exact amount. Oh, also lots of people now use their smartphone to buy things. So um, this is, you don't use a smartphone, you don't use a credit card, you just give them, you got it, cash. That's right, cash. And um, no credit card, no, no mobile pay, no smartphone, just, just paper. <laughs> paper money, yes, cash. Cash is paper money, that's what it, that's what it is. Okay, good job everyone, cash. 
cash. They say cash is king. People like cash. <laughs> cash is king. Everybody likes cash. <laughs> okay, good. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Okay, our next item, our next banking item is um okay if you if you want to buy something expensive and you don't have the cash you don't have the money in your bank account right you know this this thing could be a house it could be a car right so so houses are very expensive right it takes a lot of money to buy a house cars a new car is very expensive it takes a lot of money to buy a car and so um you don't have the cash you don't have the money in the bank right it's not you don't have enough money on hand so you go to the bank and they give you the money and that is called you go to the bank and they give you the money to buy a new car or they give you the money to buy a house of course you have to pay them back every month right you have to you have to pay back the money of course but you you get a long time to do it they if you buy a house maybe you get like 10 years 20 years and and you have to pay interest on the loan or you have to pay interest and so the bank makes money by by giving you the money and so you go to the bank and you want a that's right you want a bank loan yes so it's a bank loan so if you don't have enough money to buy a house you go to the bank to get a loan if you don't have enough money to buy a car you go to the bank for a loan yes okay good job it's a bank loan okay let's i'm looking at the clock okay i you know we did two we got one two three okay you know what we're gonna go to our next activity everyone okay so that was banking let's look at the sheet again so there it is okay so there's cash paper money Right there, cash is paper money. And there's the bank loan, right? You need a new car, you go to the bank to get a loan. If you wanna buy a house, you go to the bank for a loan, okay? Let's change topics here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, let's go to number three. So next week, we'll, we'll do more of that next week. Okay, for now, bye-bye. Okay, let's go to, oh, Maya's here. Maya, hello, Maya. Mwah. Maya's here, good to see Maya. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, um, yeah, Lubna says, bank loans are not good. Well you have to pay, you know you have to pay money back and it depends on the interest rate but you know if you want to buy a house you got to go to the bank if you want to buy you know that's a lot of money a lot of a lot of money most people don't have enough money to buy a house they don't have enough money in their bank account so they have to go to the bank to get a loan okay let's go to our next activity Dictation cards, everyone. Yeah, dictation cards. Right here. I got dictation cards right here. Right here. And today's topic is take and get. Take and get. All right. So here's one, two, three. So let's write four right here. Let's write four. And the topic is take. Take grab go grab go all right and then and then um get get 
come into possession. Come into possession. Okay, so take. Oh, don't take my coffee. <laughs> Right? Don't take it, right? Grab it, you know. Don't don't take um don't take what doesn't belong to you, right? Don't take my coffee, don't take my car, <laughs> don't grab it, right? Don't don't steal it. Um go, let's take a taxi, let's go. Let's let's take the path, let's go. <laughs> All right? And then get. So come into possession. So the past tense got. Uh, so, so I got a new car. Woohoo! I got a house. Woohoo! So come into possession. Now it's yours. I got I got a pen from the store. I got a pen from the store. Take. Yeah, don't take, don't steal my car. Don't take my car. That's right. Oh, Maya. Maya says, I'm the worst student ever. I'm always late. <laughs> Don't be late, Maya. Okay, but you're not late for, you're not late for the dictation cards. Maya, you're on time for the dictation cards. Okay, so, um, okay, and then we're going to have a few steps, right? So we have step one will be um, dictation. So dictation, you're, you're going, you need a pencil and you need paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Yeah, and then we're going to do, I will go um, fast and slow, all right? So first part, I'll go fast, and then the second part, I'll go slow. So the first round, I'll go very fast, and so it's a challenge. It's going to be maybe very difficult. Don't worry, because I will do it again slower, all right? So if you don't get it the first time, don't worry, because I will go slower the second time. And then after that, we will shadow. Okay, that is speaking practice. So after dictation, dictation, you're listening and writing at the same time. Shadowing, you're listening and speaking at the same time. All right. And then uh, we will have a quiz. All right. And, and then we'll shadow and the meaning. So when we shadow, and then I will, will, we will talk about the meaning after shadowing, okay? So shadowing and meaning, and then we'll have a quiz, all right? So candy's ready. All right, candy. So you need a pencil and paper, all right? And like I said, I'm going to go the first round is going to go very fast. And then the second round, I will go slower, all right? I'll go very slow, so don't worry. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. Yes, we have eight cards, okay? So let, oh, the pole, Mitra. You are correct. I'm always forgetting about the pole. And the pole has, is this topic. So thank you, Mitra. Thank you so much. Mitra, you are always reminding me. I appreciate that, Mitra. I really appreciate it. I need you, Mitra. I need you. Four steps to heaven. Yes, that's all. Okay. 96 people voted. Thank you very much. Mwah. Thank you, everyone. The poll is on top of the chat. It's in a blue box. And I want you to finish this. Well, insert. There's four choices in the sentence. Four choices in the sentence. The sentence is, I usually take mm, with me everywhere. I usually take mm, with me everywhere. I usually take mm, with me everywhere. And our four choices, my keys, cash, a book, a hand towel, a hand towel, 
our number one most popular choice. I usually take my keys with me everywhere. I usually take my keys with me everywhere. 43% of the people said that. Number two, the second most popular choice. I usually take cash with me everywhere. I usually take cash with me everywhere. And that was 33% of the people said that. Then at 19%, the third choice was a book. I usually take a book with me everywhere. I usually take a book with me everywhere. 19% of the people said that. And then our fourth choice, the last, was a hand towel. And only 5% of people said that. I usually take a hand towel with me everywhere. I usually take a hand towel with me everywhere. Well, here in Japan, we need hand towels because it's very hot and humid, and so it's easy to sweat in Japan. So um, just take out your hand towel, wipe your head. <laughs> You're sweating, take out your hand towel, wipe your face. Yeah, so those, that was the poll. Thank you everyone for doing that. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Mwah. Okay, let's, Go on now to our dictation cards. Here we go. Oh, Top and Dream Tanya, hello. Here we go, is everybody ready? Oh, Tomas says, I usually take my ID card everywhere. I forget, I should have done that one too. Yeah, Tomas, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good one. People take their ID cards everywhere. Candy says, I usually take my keys with me everywhere. I try not to. I don't like carrying around keys. I like just carrying around cash. <laughs> I usually just carry around cash with me. Okay, let's do it, shall we? Here we go. Dictation. Card number one. We're going to go fast, everyone. We're going to go fast. So here we go. Are you ready? Do your best. I'm going to read each card three times quickly. Three times quickly. Quickly, oh, sanitizer. These days, people take sanitizer. That's right, Sleepwalker. So Sleepwalker says, I usually take sanitizer everywhere I go. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We're going to go fast. Please take these downstairs. Please take these downstairs. Please take these downstairs. Card number two. Please don't take my wallet. Please don't take my wallet. Please don't take my wallet. Card number three, please take out the fish. Please take out the fish. Please take out the fish. Okay, number four, card number four. I'm taking a client overseas. I'm taking a client overseas. I'm taking a client overseas. Okay, here we go. Number five, card number five. Please get your boarding pass at gate four. 
Please get your boarding pass at gate four. Please get your boarding pass at gate four. Okay, here we go, number six, card number six. I got a new refrigerator last week. I got a new refrigerator last week. I got a new refrigerator last week. Okay, number seven, card number seven. I got him from a friend. I got him from a friend. I got him from a friend. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. I got the Employee of the Month Award. I got the Employee of the Month Award. I got the Employee of the Month Award. Okay, that was fast, and now I will go slow, okay? I will go much slower. So if you had any trouble the first time, don't worry because we will go slower this time. Last week I got a new fridge. Yeah. Yes, Tomas. Okay, here we go. We're going to go slower this time. So, and, yeah, yeah, we'll go slow. You're not going to see the sentence yet. I'm not going to show you the sentence until we get to here. So we're going to go, we're going to go slow, dictation, but you're not going to see the sentence. And then our shadow, the, the first time, you're not going to see a sentence. But then we will talk about the meaning, and then when we talk to, about the meaning, I will show you the sentence, okay? So, um... Here we go. Hold on, there's a jet flying. Let's wait for the jet to pass. I'm flying on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Waiting for the jet, sorry. Very noisy here right above me. The jet is above me right now. And then it makes a turn. So what, what the jet does, they, they, their, their path, right? So they have a path and they always take the same path. And so they come over here and then they turn. And, and so when the jets turn, then their engines are pointing right at me, right? So, so the jet, they're, they're flying up they're taking off, not so far away. So they take off and then they make a turn. And then, and then they're flying out that way. But when they're flying out that way, the, the engines, right? The jet engines are pointing right towards there. So it's very noisy when they, when they make a turn and then they're going off 
to, they're going off to the north, and, and that's when it's super loud. Okay, here we go. 13, no, 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 13, no. We're going to go slow here. We're going to go slow. Here we go. Please take these downstairs. Please take these downstairs. Third time. Please take these downstairs. Card number two. Please don't take my wallet. Please don't take my wallet. Please don't take my wallet. Third card, card number three. Please take out the fish. Please take out the fish. Please take out the fish. Here we go, card number four. I'm taking a client overseas. I'm taking a client overseas. I'm taking a client overseas. Oh, here comes another jet. So they, they, they come like in twos or threes. They come in twos or threes. So there'll be one, and then a few minutes later, another one. And then they usually, they, they take off in the afternoon and evening. So usually the afternoon and, well morning, actually like three times a day. In the morning, in the afternoon, and the evening. Okay, number five, here we go. Number five, please get your boarding pass at gate four. Okay, good sleepwalker. Please get your boarding pass at gate four. Please get your boarding pass at gate four. Okay, card number six. I got a new refrigerator last week. I got a new refrigerator last week. I got a new refrigerator last week. Number, we got two more. Number seven, number seven, card number seven. I got him from a friend. I got him from a friend. I got him from a friend. Last card, number eight. Okay, number eight is, I got 
the Employee of the Month Award. I got the Employee of the Month Award. I got the Employee of the Month Award. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, that was dictation, everyone. We went fast and slow. So that was lots of practice for you. Okay, now it's time to shadow. So it's speaking practice now. Like dictation, right? Dictation, you're listening and writing. But for shadowing, you're listening and speaking, yeah? So you, and actually you're speaking at the same time. You're not listening and repeating. You're listening and speaking. Speaking at the same time, input, output, input, output, at the same time. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. We will shadow three times, because three is the magic number, and then I will show you the sentence, and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So let's shadow and talk about the meaning. Okay, here we go, shadowing time, countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, card number one. Please take these downstairs. Please take these downstairs. Please take these downstairs. Please take these downstairs. Okay, so, so go, yeah. Go. Please take these downstairs, go. Okay, card number two. Please don't take my wallet. 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 Grab. Don't grab my wallet. Don't take my wallet. Please don't take my wallet <laughs> all right here we go card number three please take out the fish 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 okay go <laughs> so actually you know remove it so Maybe, you know, the fish is frozen, it's in the freezer, and so take it out, remove it from the refrigerator so it can thaw out, right? Because we're gonna make, we're gonna cook fish tonight. It's frozen, it's in the freezer. Take it out so it will thaw out. It will become unfrozen. <laughs> it's frozen, so we want it unfrozen. We want it to thaw out. So please, take out the fish. Remove it from the refrigerator or the freezer. Take it out of the freezer. Card number four. I'm taking a client overseas. 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 So um, you're gonna go with a client, so you're taking the client, you're gonna go overseas, meaning you're, gonna, you're going to leave your country, you need a passport, you're going to go to a different country, you're gonna go overseas, you're going to fly over the ocean, <laughs> overseas. You're gonna like go from London to New York, or New York to London, or, right, you're gonna go overseas, you're gonna leave your country, you need a passport. <clears throat> oh, a client is um, a customer, like import. So it's a business customer. Maybe a client would be if you're a lawyer. So your your client is someone you're you're helping. Um, they're pro you're providing a service for them. They they are your customer. They are a client. You're a professional. You're a business. And so you're, you're taking your client, your customer overseas, you're taking them to another country. 
Number five, please get your boarding pass at gate four. 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 Receive. Come into possession. So boarding pass is different than a ticket, right? So you want to fly, you want to go somewhere, you want to travel. So you order a ticket, you order an airline ticket, maybe you print it out, right? And so you, you order your airline ticket, you print it out. So now you have like a document, you have a paper and it has your name and, and information. Then you go to the airport, you go to your um, airline counter. Let's say you're flying uh, American Airlines. You take your voucher, you take your paper, you take your document to the counter, American Airlines counter. Then they, they give you the, what you need and they give you a boarding pass. And so the boarding pass has your name and seat number, okay? And so you go and get your boarding pass it has your seat number and your row number, it has your name, and so that's where you sit in the airplane. So please get your boarding pass at gate four. Okay, let's go to number six. I got a new refrigerator last week. 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 Okay, you came in possession, you got a new one. It's in your house, it's in your kitchen. You got a new refrigerator, congratulations. It's nice, the new refrigerators are nice. I don't know because I have an old refrigerator so I don't know new refrigerators. What? What's a new refrigerator like? I don't know because my refrigerator is very old. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number seven. I got him from a friend. 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 So you came in possession and he's a parrot. And so maybe your friend bought a parrot, but mic trouble. No sound. I don't know, Tetsuro. I see, I don't know. If anyone else has problems, let me know. Um, so, you know, so maybe your friend got a parrot, but your friend can't take care of it. And so um, your friend says, oh, I can't take care of this parrot. And so um, your friend goes, oh, I can't take care of the parrot. Do you want the parrot? Do you want the parrot? And um, yes. And so I come to your house and I go, where'd you get the parrot? Where did you get the parrot? And um, you say, oh, I got him from a friend. I got him from a friend. Okay, so I got him. Ah, there's a little fly. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got the bug right here. A bug was flying around and I got the bug. Okay, so I got him from a friend. Okay, here we go. One more. Here we go. The last card. I got the Employee of the Month Award. 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 So receive, came in possession. So the Employee of the Month, so you work for a company or you know a shop or something and you're the, the best worker and so you get a little a placard or you know a piece of paper that says you're the Employee of the Month. 
they take your picture, they put it on the wall, and for June, you are the best worker in June. And so, how about July? Who's going to be employee of the month in July? So you should work hard so you can get that award. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. All right, I got the Employee of the Month Award. Congratulations. Okay, yay, yay. That was shattering and the meaning. Okay, Tetsuro, good. You can, you, you, I'm back for Tetsuro. That's good. Okay, let's, let's check it off. Now it's time for the quiz. It's time for the quiz. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shuffle the cards. Shuffle up the cards. Okay, Fabricio has a question. Okay, Miley had the question. Sorry, I didn't see Miley. Sorry. For the parrot, why don't why don't I use it? I don't understand. Oh, for for the parrot, why don't I use it? I don't understand. I got him from a friend. One more time. I don't understand your question. Sorry. Miley, can can you use it for the parrot instead of him? Oh, oh, it instead of, I got it. I I got it from yes, you can. Yeah. But like yeah. Okay, I, I understand. I understand now. Thank you. So yeah, so because it's an animal, you can say it. But you know, a lot of times we, we call dogs, you know, oh, she's a good dog. He's a good dog. So a lot of times um, we, we can use it for animal. We use it, right? And so, oh, it's a nice dog. <laughs> you could do that. Oh, it's a beautiful cat. Oh, it's a nice parrot. Or you could say, oh, he's a nice parrot. He, she's a nice cat. So either way works. It's your choice. Your choice. Yeah. Good question. Okay. All right. So let's do the quiz now. So I'm shuffling the cards. Shuffling the cards. So we don't know card one will be. We don't know what card two will be. We don't know what card three will be. So it's a mystery. It's a challenge. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, I like your sentence, Fabricio. It's a nice parrot. He is part of the family. Good, yes, Fabricio. I like that sentence. Okay. <laughs> Hanin, thank you. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Now, you're only going to see the picture, all right? So please write the sentence in the chat by only looking at the picture. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. So write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Ah, Ella says, it's pretty difficult to know the gender of parrots. Yeah, so you can just call it a he or she or it. It's your choice. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Okay, what is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. Okay, here we go. We're on the board. Lolly says, don't take my wallet, Sleepwalker. Please don't take my wallet. Samuel, please don't take my wallet. Mary, please don't take my wallet. Fabricio, please don't take my wallet. It's empty. <laughs> right, don't take it. It's, it's empty. You don't need it. It's empty. You don't need my wallet because it's empty. <laughs> Here in Japan, people return their wallets with the money. Japan is, in, Japan is incredible. People return cash. So, um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm being, this is the truth. You could ask Tetsuro, you could ask Candy. People will lose their wallet with cash and people return it with the cash here in Japan. It's incredible. It's 
It's crazy. People return wallets with the cash. They take it to the police station. And, and what you do is, okay, if you find a wallet with cash, or you find a wallet, you take it to the police station, and they write down your name. And if nobody comes to get it, then they give you the cash. But, um, yeah, so people return wallets with the cash here in Japan. Okay, and that's right, Tetsuro. So Tetsuro, in Japan, lost wallets will be will be returned back to you. Will be returned to you. Oh, Mary has the same experience, so it's great, right? So I've actually I've left my iPhone and it was returned to me. Yeah, Tessa, return to it will if you lose your wallet, there's a good chance it'll be returned. Okay, yes, you got the sentence correct, everybody. Please don't take my wallet. Please don't take my wallet. Yeah, so that's right. So I was at a I was at yeah, sleep Parker, I was at a at a um convention at a um yeah, at, at a convention, and I left my wallet on a bit, or my, my iPhone on the bench, and I, I panicked, oh my God, my iPhone. I went back to the bench, it wasn't there, and I was going, oh no. And then I went to the, the, the information desk, and it was there. I was going, woohoo, yes, someone returned my iPhone. Okay, here we go. Yeah, in America too, Lolly. Same, same with America for sure. But Japan, they return it here in Japan. Okay, here's number two. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Sleepwalk. Yeah, I was lucky. I was lucky. Okay, oh, here's the parrot. Here's the parrot card. Do you remember the parrot card? Okay, yes you do. You remember. Everybody, good. Everybody remembers. Everybody remembers. That's good, that's good. Good job, everyone. Well done, everyone. Okay, let's have a look. Here we go. I got him from a friend. I got him from a friend. I got him from a friend. Okay, here we go. Card number three. Last card. Everybody, write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember this one? Viva, do you remember this card? What's the sentence? What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Yeah, Shams, I got him from a friend. Good, Shams. Okay, Tetsuro is on the board. Sleepwalker is on the board. <laughs> Let's see. The six... And the S, not so close together. Wait, no, no, the H, six and H. Pretty close, yeah, okay, I could see how you made that mistake, the, the um, six and the H. Okay, Tanya, I'm not, okay, Tanya says, um, I was too, okay, I found a wallet in Italy, one wallet, and I was giving it to a saleswoman, this wallet was 
had money, two or three hundred euros, I was to ask my family, I was to do this. Yeah, so you, you should always return it, right? So if you find something, you should always return it because someday you might lose something and you want it returned. So it's always good if you find something, return it because, you know, it can happen to you, right? So one day you can lose your wallet and you would want it returned to you, right? So it's good to, um, to return the favor, right? Because it might happen to you. So it's always good to return what's not yours. Return what's not yours. Like do a good thing and that person feels really happy. Oh, thank you for returning my wallet. I really appreciate that person's very happy. Um, the, before the person was sad, right? Oh, I'm sad, I lost my wallet. But then you return it to them and they're very happy. So you made them happy from sad, right? They were sad because they lost the wallet. And then you made them happy because you returned it. So it's good to make people happy. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's have a look at the sentence. <gasps> yes, please take out the fish. Please take out the fish. So the situation, like maybe, you know, you're at work and you call your husband or you call your family and you say, oh, please take out the fish, right? Because you're at work and, or you're out of your house and so you call someone in the house to take out the fish because you want it thawed out, you, want it, you, you don't want it to be frozen, right? Because you're gonna cook the fish for dinner. Yeah, Mary, return what isn't yours because you never know you might lose something and you want it returned back to you. Okay, good everyone. Please take out the fish. Yes, you did it. That was the quiz. That was the dictation cards. Well done, everyone. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. Good job, everyone. Yay! Well, um, Lolly, I'm looking at the time. We're not, I'm looking at the clock. We don't have time for Lolly's revenge today. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> it was, I'm tired today. I, I was working this morning and it's very, very hot here in Japan and I'm very tired <laughs> and I'm very hot. And so it, it's been almost two hours. So. Let's do Lolly's Revenge next week, okay? Let's do it next week, um, okay? So let's say goodbye for now. Okay, thank you, Tetsuo. Okay, thank you, Lolly. So I, I did it, I'm prepared, but it's almost seven now and I'm tired, I'm hot. So here, here's Lolly's Revenge right here, I did it. But, um, Take a nap. No, I'm just going to go to bed early because right now, Tomas, it's almost 7 p.m. in Japan. If I, if I took a nap, I would just sleep all night. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go home, have dinner, have a shower, and go to bed early. <laughs> so I'll go to bed early tonight because I have a busy day tomorrow. I'm very busy right now until until August and then I get a summer break but um, I'm, I'm good just it's so hot right now in Japan and humid and so it's easy to get tired yeah and so anyways the heat right the heat makes you tired it makes me tired the, the heat it's very hot so right now let me get my hold on hold on let me get my phone this is the phone I lost or I, I lost and it was returned. So right now in Japan, it's almost 7 p.m., right? The sun, I'll show you outside. So, right, so the sun, there's outside, well, you can't see. Uh, I can't, I can't, uh, I, you can't see it, but it's, it's almost, it's getting darker. So the sun is, is down and the temperature, it's still hot. Right now, the temperature here in Japan, in my city, 33. So it's 33 degrees still. And um, 
we need air conditioning to sleep. So it, it's hot here in Japan. So anyways, thank you everyone. Um, I will be back on Friday. Yes, Friday at 10 a.m. Japan time. So I hope to see you back on Friday. And everyone have a good week. Um, smile. Yeah, it's hot, Fabrizio. Very, you could ask Tetsuro and you could ask Candy. Candy and Tetsuro will tell you it's hot in Japan. Yeah. Um, so I will see you on Friday at 10 a.m. Have a great week. I really appreciate everyone's kind support. Mwah. Thank you, green team. You see them. Their names are in green. And so thank you, Lolly. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you, Tessa, Fabrizio, everyone. Candy, you too. Thank you. Take care. And um, yeah. So anyways, smile. Love and peace, everyone. Mwah. Thank you for being here. And I'm, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Maya, thank you. I can't talk. Miley, thank you. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> so let's just say goodbye. Let's count down to saying goodbye. Here we go. Let's count down. Love and peace. Mwah. Love you guys. And I will be back on Friday. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks so much. I will be back on Friday. So I will see you Friday, 10 a.m. Japan time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Love and peace. Take it easy. Smile. And, and, and be happy. Okay, bye.